some things are just worth waiting for. So we're a couple of minutes late, but how exciting to be together on this Sabbath day. And exciting for me because my brother David and his wife Lisa just arrived before we went live. So, so nice to have David, the eldest in our family, with us. <laughs> Sparrow's in! <laughs> as well as our mother on this Mother's Day weekend. Happy Sabbath. Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. it's always good to come to the Sabbath day mm. yeah. and be able to take a day off exactly. from everything else. Yeah. Mm. And uh, as we're thinking about mothers this weekend, I'm very blessed to have my family all local this weekend or Except Gary, who flew off to the Solomon Islands, Solomon Islands and Calvin. Or Solomon Islands, that's fine. Well, they were local until this morning. Hello, Hodiara. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, hey, look, I've asked Mum if she would start off by playing a hymn that we grew up with regularly in this home. And also, I've asked you... from previously to going live to submit your song requests for your mums, um, what hymns you know that your mum's favourites. And so the one we're going to open with is a favourite in our home, but it's also um, for Jackie Puna. So day is dying in the West. Mm. Isn't it beautiful that the Sabbath, and every night is the same, is uh, the day makes that transition to night in such a gradual way. Yeah. yeah. We watched the sunset last night and just mm. the beauty, the beauty that um, is there every evening. Wow. And uh, on Sabbath, it would be nice to uh, spend, spend more time just absorbing that, yeah. that welcome as we watch yeah, the death of another day giving way to a new day. Mm. Just love it. Yeah, happy Sabbath. Wow. Mm. So look, I think as is our custom, we will open with a word <clears throat> of prayer. And why not ask our firstborn in the family, David, big brother Dave, to open with a prayer for us. Father God, we just say thank you to you. We praise you as the, the great creator of the universe, the eternal God who condescends to, to fellowship with us mere mortals. We have nothing to offer him but our broken selves and we come tonight on this Sabbath day seeking, seeking your presence. Mm. We come as a global community, a global family of brothers and sisters. We come as those who are rejoicing we come as those who are heartbroken. Mm. We come together just looking up, longing for the day that you come to take us home. And um, as the Sabbath sweeps around the world, my prayer is that heaven will come down, yeah. that our hearts will be touched, 
that the spirit of Jesus will be found resident in each of our lives and um, that we will be drawn deeper into a relationship with you mm. and thus with each other. That's my prayer. Amen. Mm. Amen. And thank you for mums. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mum, um, amongst all the hymn titles, well, firstly, um, I've asked David to come on screen and to be present because if ever Mum plays anything in the key of C, David happens to have a harmonica in the key of C. Won't happen. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it may, <laughs> if we all <laughs> plead. <laughs> but, Mum, um, I've asked, yeah, people to submit their requests for their mothers. And, of course, Sparrow got in with a request for her mum. So Susan Bird, your daughter Sparrow, has requested the hymn Amazing Grace for you. And I also want to say that a number of people requested this hymn for their mum. So Kerry Ann Woodward also requested it for her mum. And in memory of their mums, Didi Sneddon and Jean Gresham also requested Amazing Grace. Um, if there's any of these that you think, oh, yes, I'd like to play that, we can just say, Mum, please do this one in the key of C and we can bust out that harmonica. <laughs> you mightn't be able to sing How Great Thou Art in the key of C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> thanks, Dodie. There you go. <laughs> well, shall we just mm. go to this one? Um, I don't know whether that mm. works with the key of C or whether you want to wait a little bit or what, but this one is requested for Diane... Pike, Diane Pike by Jana or Yana, Yana, I'm not sure how you pronounce your name, but Leanne Poland also requested it and Pinky Lewis in memory of their mums and that's the hymn In the Garden.
is next. What would we have her play? Well, no, never alone. Oh, Mama. Is in C. Oh, do you know that song? I do. <laughs> and I just learned it today. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember if it's a harmonica song. Some, some songs are not harmonica songs. Some are not. Right. Some throw some odd notes and... This one is for Elsie, who is 90 years old. Elsie, Nicole requested this for you. Mm, so nice. how special is this? I, we didn't grow up with this one in the home, no. hey? So mum actually printed out some written music and started listening to it to learn it for you, Elsie. Happy Mother's Day and happy Sabbath. Yeah. I was familiar with the chorus right. so, partly, yeah. and I really wasn't sure how the rest of it went, so I asked Google. <laughs> This is the one Osborne sings and plays a bit. It gets requested. Yeah. But yes, here goes the... the time I've heard it. I didn't grow up with harmonica. Oh, <laughs> neither did you. That's right. I grew into it. Yes. Yeah, sort of, because I don't play piano. Right. But I grew up with this piano. This is the yeah, actual piano. The, yeah. So I have uh, I've fallen asleep many nights. Yes. You nibbled the edge off the keys right. when you were just high enough. Nothing to, to see. Nothing to see. Yeah. It's true. We it's had true. to get it read. Yeah. It's the piano Mum grew up with too. Mm. So she mm. got it as a child. Yeah. yeah, got to stay, got to There's stay. something special about a piano. Mm. About this one. Hey, what about yeah. this one? It's been requested by two people. Would that be okay? It is for Jessie. Yeah, it... Your daughter, oh. Teresa, uh, requested this. It's also requested it. by... Excuse me. It's also requested for Olympia Falzon. Uh, your daughter, Christina, requested this one for you. It's How Great Thou Art. Yeah.
that's adorable, Dave. <laughs> condensation. It was only condensation in there. <laughs> you were doing harmonies in there, Melanie. Yes, Mars. that was very nice. Yeah, you're throwing me off. Because <laughs> the notes harmonise naturally in the uh, harmonica. That's perfect. <laughs> and you get rid of all the notes that you don't need. I love most it. Of the time. Yeah, that's right. Just go mute. <laughs> Hey, Michelle, if you're watching, your daughter, Sherilyn, has requested what, what a, friend a friend we have in mm. Jesus. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Sabbath. I don't know whether the next um, the next hymn is going to be a harmonica duet, but I do know that it's a privilege for me to have my mum. Mm. And whilst twenty years ago must just seem like yesterday, wow. the hymn that you've selected in memory of your mum, I imagine, will speak to to so many others whose mums aren't with them. Mm. And they're looking forward to the day when Jesus comes and there's going to be the hugest hug in the sky. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So this hymn is a well-known hymn in this family until then. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Someone was asking, why don't we sing? Shall we do a mm. duet for this one? A duet? A book, duet you can play it. We'll we can get a... Um, until then. An extra voice. <laughs> Gonna sing? She's like, uh uh. It's like, it's a duet, Davey. <laughs> David on lead, I'm on alto. Yes, <laughs> now. Because I can't play harmonica. <laughs> Some funny things have happened when Sandra and I have tried to sing before. It's getting all nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous. <laughs> Just funny things happen. And I can't sing the melody when someone's singing alto. Oh, okay. Let's sing the unison then. Let's just sing. I'll get less of couple. Sorry, Jeffrey. It's taking a moment. G. Jeffrey. G. G. Harmonica. I haven't got one. Play for me. Yeah. 
text that I was just reading this evening, um, Psalm 146, Praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul, while I live will I praise the Lord, I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being. Oh, yes, yeah, until then my heart will go on singing. Oh, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. That is beautiful. Hey, um, just just as we started, before we hit the live button, we were just praying. I was just mindful that um, Mother's Day may not be a a good thing, you know, for everyone. Some some situations just bring heartache at this time of the year, mm. and um, I want to say this Mother's Day may be a little hard for for one. Um, particular individual that I'm thinking of. A few months ago, a couple of months ago, the last time Mum and I did a instrumental evening together was just beautiful. It was planned to be an instrumental evening and it was just perfect timing because I was a little bit teary at that time. Mm. We had just learned of Fuma'i Moore's passing and um, so to be able to sit and just have Mum play throughout that evening was just appropriate because so many of us around mm. this region were just grieving. For Ma'i's mum, um, Sister Moore reached out to me to let me know that his wife Nicole gave birth to their baby just um, Thursday of last week, so just over a week ago. Little baby for Ma'i Moore has made his entrance mm. into the world and um, I know that Wow, there's joy, of course, in that family, but there's heartache as well. That that dear little child is going to grow up not knowing his dad mm. and um, that Nicole is going to be celebrating Mother's Day with her children and her newborn baby um, this weekend without Fuma'i there. So our hearts go out to you, Nicole, and the whole Moore family. And, um, yeah, prayers for you and for that Precious little baby, um, can't wait for reunion day when Jesus comes and those two get to meet, hey? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm wondering whether we could do um, for you the hymn, Does Jesus Care? Oh, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also Sandy Benson Worthen, um, your daughter Holly has requested this hymn for you as well, Does Jesus Care? 
So um, those in that family know the lyrics to this hymn, as do we. If you don't know it, Google the, the lyrics and just um, have a listen, of, have a read of those words. You go ahead and just play it as an instrumental and we'll just sit and be ministered to. mum and David were on the sing-along was just a little minute ago when we were celebrating mum and dad's 60th wedding anniversary. So um, I just opened a message this week that came in prior to that date from um, a Tamia to, to let me know that a Maria and Antel from Hungary were celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary oh. on April 15, the day after yours. So I'm so sorry that I only just opened that message and saw it, but happy 60th wedding anniversary, Maria and Antel. Um, the hymn Count Your Blessings was requested for, for them. So what do you reckon, Mama? How, count your blessings. <laughs> Good job, Davy. I agree, Roslyn. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Desiree, Nick. Yes, there's been a request for that one. Shall we do it? Um, oh, what did you request now that I've just sweet by and by? Yes. So Viola Puni requested this hymn, sweet by and by, in memory of mm. her mother. Who has passed so shall we do that for the both of you sweet mm. bye bye
would you like to honor? <laughs> Which one? Uh, we're going down from here. These are the mums. These are who are requesting them. And that's the titles. I was somewhat organized this week. <laughs> Tell us who you, what you chose. Oh, I'll just take the top one. Okay. This is for Temu Silafau. This is from Melissa. She's requested it for you. I will early seek the saviour. seek the saviour mm. early in the day yeah yeah mm. before the sunrise or before you get busy on other things yeah wow yes the the original hymn says i'm not too young to this and that you know so. okay. oh, the hymn we sang earlier does jesus care yeah. that's just been in my mind while we've been singing these others and i've just been thinking how we can idealize motherhood sometimes and maybe this would have more 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 credibility or more something if i was a mum but i'm not but i'm just mindful that there's there's a lot of kids out there whose mums have been less than ideal mm. Mm. and it may be that um that you're a mum who's just sensed your own struggle and your own imperfections and despite all of those failings, that Jesus does care, and and that He's a He's a God who's just drawing us to Himself. And I think of the story of of a woman who found herself sitting at the feet of Jesus, mm. and she was. Um, we don't know about a mum, but she was a broken woman. Mm. And then yeah. there are those who had less and than ideal mothers. That's yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's a verse that says, when the, my father yeah. and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Yeah. yeah. And he will. He'll be more than a mother to you. Yeah. Joan, Joan Hager has requested this hymn, Sitting at the Feet of Jesus. Mm. Remember it,
um, I just caught the request for um, June Hosea for God will take care of you. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Hi Rhonda. <laughs> Hi Rhonda. <laughs> mm. They all just having happy times mm. between themselves. Isn't it nice? yeah, <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. lovely. Okay, Mom, what would you like next? Just the next one? Or would you like to jump around? No, mm. no. If we take the next one, then, then you know. we don't miss anyone out. Okay, Annette, if you're watching, your daughter Lynn has requested Draw Me Nearer yeah. for you. dying in the west one thing i love about the piano uh, above all instruments is just the way it decays mm. hold that sustain pedal hold the the final chord and it just decays slowly soothing mm. stuff very mm. very yeah, it decays like the rest of us oh <laughs> all in a state of decay change and decay and all, all around, around i see, see. yeah hey, they are who change us not, not abide with me you know that was my favorite hymn oh then we should put your favorite in sinners house mother's day <laughs> it was your favorite is it no longer well i was now going that to say things have changed it was my favorite when i was 10. <laughs> But now you're changing and decaying. Um, you want a different hymn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but people used to sort of look at me strangely when I'd request it because like they, they, come, they, mm. they, they said, why would you pick a funeral hymn? Oh. I, I didn't know it was a funeral hymn. I'd never been to a funeral. Mm. But um, the words, the music, mm. I just felt were beautiful. Yeah. Let's hear it, Mama. And, and for each of us who are in a relationship with Jesus, or in a, if you're in a relationship with anyone, this old-fashioned word, abiding, mm -hmm. um, where we just we have stay. that 
Yeah, it's not when will you be home or where have they gone or will they be back? Will they call me again? It's just that solid knowing that yeah. Jesus is there. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah. Okay, so um, Katrina Vahang, hey, Vahakangas. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know I butchered your name. Vahakangas. I think you're right on. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and has requested this hymn for her mum who's not on Facebook. So maybe mum can watch it later on YouTube. This is the hymn, My Jesus, I Love Thee. And I see Tali Ryan, you're requesting this for your mum as well. So beautiful. 321 mm. in the hymnal. If you are singing along, my Jesus, I love thee. Do you want to be C? Is it singable in C? Probably it's not. the sing along. It's not written the... in F. <laughs> <laughs> one flat. Can you play in one flat? I can. There you go. <laughs> what? You want it in one flat? That's written yeah, in written one flat. flat. <laughs> but you do it whatever you want. <laughs> I love those fingers on the keys too. Oh, but you can't play a piano without having your fingers on the keys. <laughs> no, no, no. no. And there's something up here as well. Oh, these hands. Oh, just so blessed to have you, Mama. I stirred a lot of porridge over the years. Oh, yes. Smacked a lot of bottoms too. I kicked her back good and proper on those hands once for all those smacks that I got. <laughs> <laughs> I was changing a tyre. A flat tire and we were out together and she was holding the hubcap like holding it while I was kicking 
in my steel cap boots. I was still in my work uniform. <laughs> yes, I did. And now she's got arthritis in her hands because of that. Oh, oh my not dear. Not because of it. You didn't kick both hands. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> she took it so well, but I gave that kit. That, oh, I was really kicking that hubcap on. Oh, isn't that a terrible thing on. to do to your mother's <laughs> hands? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mum. <laughs> it's all part of life. What do you got there, Dave? I haven't Good. asked Mum if she knows all of these, but yeah. Do you know this one? Victory and Jean. No, 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 no. This I'm, a a I'm a pilgrim. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Christabel, Jonathan, for your mum. This is, a, this is a hymn that speaks to the Christian experience. Sometimes we just feel like a square peg in a round hole. But we know that um, when you've had Jesus come into your life, mm. you know that nothing else makes sense. Wow. Yeah. And this is what the world needs, the, the world view, the set of values that are others-centred and only a way that Jesus empowers us to be. So, Pilgrims, this is play? our hymn. Do you want to play? Is it, is it singing, Sue? Oh, I don't know whether they can sing it, but we one, can play it. Yeah, one, one person playing in... Those hands for me. <laughs> 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 David's all over it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. They're warm. Hey, Diane Gosling, I just saw your name pop up. You, my dear, are going to get your request um, for your mum, Jill Gosling, the old rugged cross. <laughs>
Joan Marshall. Oh, Joan. If, if, you, can, if you can remember 1956, you're doing very well. <laughs> And remembering Sand Days and Marge playing the piano, um, that gives your era away. You're not 21. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. There's your mate, Mum. Yeah, uh, I wish I could say. see you, but Aww. I know you're there. Wow. Mm. Hey, speaking of people that um, are quaint, uh, well, I don't, where have we got here? We've got uh, a Maria Dunbar. She's requesting a song for Marjorie from your adopted daughter. So, but I'm not sure, Maria, what you were requesting. She's got with Jesus in the vessel, happy, happy home. So I don't know whether it's with Jesus in the vessel, we can smile at the storm, the or whether it's with Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. So interpret it however you want for Maria, Mum. Okay, <laughs> Play whichever Maria. you like. Maria will let us know. But in the meantime... Well. <laughs> with Christ in the vessel. Yes, 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 yes. mean um 40 years ago maybe yeah 50 years ago wow 40 anyway 40 wow, to 50. wow wow all righty what about this one for judy sarai karawa uh gino has requested this one for you judy i know not why god's wondrous grace Thinking of all the lullabies mothers have sung to their children. Is there something that takes you back to um, when you're a little one and your mum would hover over and sing words that um, just filled the emptiness of a dark room or just reassured you of someone's presence, God's presence? There was a request from Michaela Negrillo. Oh, was there? Yeah. She remembers her mum singing a little, the little song, Rock, Rock, Rock. Little boat? Little boat, little boat on, on the, the stormy, stormy sea. sea. That's David and Lisa's youngest daughter. Okay. 
rock, rock near yeah, rock, a little boat on the stormy sea. Yes. Rock, 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 sweet Jesus rides in the It was a story song, wasn't it, about the storm on the sea? And it got very rocky, if you like to play it that way. That's adorable. Yes, Tanya, too right. Okay, what would you like to do next, David, Mama? Really up to you. Oh, I anyway, feel like yeah. a Gaitha song. Oh, well then. So is today Velma's 83rd birthday? Is that... Um, Maybe. Is there a Velma in the house? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Is this a song that's been requested for you, Velma? Well, been there, done that. Yeah. 83. 83. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Won't hurt you. Won't hurt you. Yeah. You'll live. Yeah. This is just one of the most beautiful hymns. Uh, because he lives. Yeah. We can face tomorrow. music for it, I think. You can speak, oh, David, and I'll get the okay. music. Well, no, it's for someone, so you yeah, can it for someone. Yeah, it is for someone. There's some things that should never happen, and uh, burying your mum's one of them. But if you're a mum, and um, who can identify with Sarah Marie, who's had to lay to rest child then you'll um this hymn's been selected for you 
This is Sarah's choice, uh, Victory in Jesus, just remembering that this is her first Mother's Day without her youngest daughter who passed away in February. So that's just a fresh, fresh word. Yeah. So just um, thoughts are with you, Sarah. we don't forget that there is victory yeah, yeah. yeah. not just forgiveness and peace but uh, we can just claim it every day the oh, victory yeah. that Jesus won at the cross and in every every temptation that Satan threw at him mm. that he's the defeated foe sometimes it's easy to see ourselves as the defeated foe as mm. Satan takes us down again and we just go oh, mm. a wretched man that I am a wretched mum that I am Wow. wow. Did you know, just a piece of trivia, mm. that victory in Jesus is not in the 1928 um, <laughs> no. Advent hymnal. There's no hymns beginning with the letter V, in fact. Mm -mm. Titles beginning with the letter V. No, I knew it would be in the red celebration hymnal, yeah. but mum, she was all over it, so I just yeah. aborted mission. It, it is a beautiful it. hymn. Mm. It just is. It's all over the place. Isn't it? Oh, well, at least you sing. started it right. <laughs> so, um, just hold, hold, hold up, mama. So this song is being this requested is. for Carly Kachansky, Carly Fletcher Kachansky, by her husband, Paul. You would have heard us sing one of Carly's songs um, on the Tweed Valley College nights when I've gone to sing with Paul and Johanna, we, we often will sing one of her songs, Follow the Lamb, that she wrote. She's a beautiful girl with an amazing gift for songwriting. Look up her music um, when you get a moment. Carly Fletcher Music. She's married now, Carly Kuchansky. So her husband, Paul, has requested the, the hymn for her because she's a mum. And this is Near to the Heart of God.
Beautiful. Hands up those who, who came to hear the piano, not the harmonica. <laughs> That's me. There's something about being in the room uh, with, with an acoustic instrument. It, um, if you've got the big speakers on or your headphones on, um, you've got a lot of the quality preserved. That's what I do at home. And if you're not, I just really encourage you to get a little, a decent pair of headphones or the, um, the Bluetooth speaker or whatever you do. Hook it up to your big sound system. It sounds good. But it's still not going to be a patch on being in the room with the instrument <laughs> or crouch down on the floor with your ear pressed to the, which is nice. So, and when I play a harmonica, I can't hear anyone else. So that's, that ruins it for me. Oh, no, they're all voting. They love both. Right. They love the yeah. harm. <laughs> that's mm. beautiful. Harm does no yeah. harm. That is so sweet. Joyce Rose is not listening with us tonight. Mm. And... Um, We've just had that request just to remember Joyce. She's in hospital in the QE2 in ICU. And oh. um, she is close on 90 years of age. Wow. So wow. That's, that's a decent inning. So mm. our prayers are with, with Joyce this evening. Yeah. Wow. Jesus is the great healer. Amen. And he still is. Well, yeah. there's the king, yeah. great position now, isn't he? And the sympathising Jesus. Oh, there you go. The great position now is near, Sparrow. The great position now is near. Welcome, Japan. Lovely. And thanks, Pastor Colin, for just counting countries and letting us know how many countries are watching each night. That is just beautiful. Um, we've had two requests um, for the hymn to God be the glory. Gwyneth Morley, this is um, requested by Joanne Blackwell in memory of her mum, Gwyneth. And also by Colleen Moore Marshall in memory of her mum. To God be the glory, great things he has done.
That's a rousing hymn. Yeah. Mm. Who, who was singing it with gusto? <laughs> We weren't we singing, to. but you were singing along. I've, I've sung along with you, Sandra, in some of the most strangest places, on the road, driving along, broken down on the side of the road, and um, the stereo turned up at home, singing the top of my lungs, and yeah, gusto. <laughs> do women sing with gusto as well? Is just Yes, yes, yes I yes, do. Yes, yeah. yes. You don't have to always sing in tune. <laughs> the angels are joining in. I was sitting here watching you and I was wondering if the, if ADHD was a thing when we were children, I think we both were the ones who would have been diagnosed with it. <laughs> we just like, we do everything with gusto. <laughs> oh dear. Right hey, someone was just, um, as no one was there to hear me. <laughs> um, someone was just mentioning it's International Nurses Day. Yes. Happy birthday, Florence. Oh, how about that? 203 years ago or something, 103. And someone was saying, can we do a song for all the nurses, past and present? Well, here are two nurses. Yeah, yeah. mother and firstborn. Mm. It's true. Yeah. Yep. What's a good song for the yes, nurses? Sister. Yes, sister. <laughs> yes, sister. What's a good song oh, for... We've had the great physician. Yes. Um... What's a good song, people, for nurses? Your suggestions, too. And I still have your list of, of people who are requested for their mums. There's still a few more there. Yes, to all the nurses. Nurses are it. 24-7. Yeah, wow. All of the other disciplines go home, have weekends off, you know, they get paid a lot of money if they get called in. But yeah, nurses, right? are, nurses are there doing all the, the bits that are, they do the messy stuff. Wow, mm. wow. We wrote a song for our graduation. This world in which we're living is full of... Um, full of... Sick folk, of, of, of the longer word. And rhymes. Each in the wheel of service is just one needy spoke. Christ, the great physician, in readiness now stands. We will be true instruments in his hands. Oh. Belle Taylor. Oh, that's wrote awesome. the words, and I invented some music for it. Wow. I'm seeing a few requests coming in for, <laughs> for the nurses. Um, just didn't want to interrupt what she was saying, but... Ooh. Yeah, I know. Mm. Just when I need him, saving the lost. Um, there'll be no dark valley. Oh, okay. Whatever you'd like, Mum. Mm. No Duck Valley. No, no um no bedpans. <laughs> no, don't don't remind me. No, no no vases with flowers that are fading or oh, yeah. they were worse than the bedpans. Mm. service that a nurse is able to do for people who can't do for themselves yeah, you've got to treat them all like they're part of the family they're your auntie they're your uncle they're your grandma they're grand you know treat mm. them as part of the family and you can do anything for them wow yeah beautiful go for it 
<laughs> this, this could be talking about mums of, of all shapes and sizes. Uh, Proverbs chapter 31 and uh, from verse 10, mm. this wise man wrote, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She's like the merchant's ships. She brings her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and gives meat to her household mm. and a portion to her maidens. Mm. She considereth a field and buyeth it. You can tell this is the King James, isn't it? <laughs> I've got another version somewhere. No, this is good. This, this is good. good. Uh, and, and buys, buyeth it with the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. Mm. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out mm. by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. Mm. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, and her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honour are her clothing mm. and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. Mm. Her children rise up. Yep. And call her blessed. Mm. And her husband also, who's upstairs in bed, <laughs> and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Mm. Favour is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that mm. fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Mm. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works of praise in the gates. They're the words of the wise man. And I think many of us would be saying, yes, that was written about oh, my mum. Yes. Oh. I remember so her. blessed to have My her. sister Letty saying what one, somebody likened her to that once in her younger days. She said, I never want to be like that. That poor woman never rested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my dear. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I never. Yeah. That's how I think. Mum just never rested. And a thing that I, I loved growing up in this home, watching mum just do for others, do for others. She was the welfare leader in our church for years. And so a lot of her time was spent in um, counselling with people and helping teach them how to manage their money, how to, um, you know, work out a budget, how to, you know, rather than just buying food parcels and giving them, she'd spend time with them and, Serving on every committee known to man and, um, you know, serving faithfully I in the church. I'm on a committee. <laughs> Give me your pity. I'm on a committee, she says. <laughs> and to still, you know, they're not at Ipswich Church um, anymore, so I don't get to watch them in close proximity in the church setting on a Sabbath. But, you know, you're still serving there at Rosewood and playing, you know, each week and... And I see her rise up early in the morning. She'll often be up before I am in, in her Bible. And it's just a, a beautiful example that you have set in our home. Mm. Um, yeah. Really That's just. not a recent thing either. No, no, definitely not. The only time I got any peace. <laughs> Six kids. <laughs> Don't know how she did it. All righty.
<laughs> I'm just wondering, uh, I'm thinking of some of the things that, just the little gems of wisdom that you've taken from your mums, maybe just to post some of those and just share some of those little um, yeah. uh, pithy, pithy aphorisms, I think would be a, just the way where in just such a few number of words you can say so much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And while you type mm. those, let's do some more music, shall we? Mm. Amanda Peterson, not Ipswich Amanda Peterson, I'm South African Amanda Chile Peterson. South <laughs> Amanda Peterson has requested Holy Holy is what oh, the beautiful. angels sing for her mum. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> This one, Lynn Zapala has requested it is well with my soul in memory of her mum who died 14 years ago. It is well.
Wasn't the KFC? Yes, it was. <laughs> um, Vladimir, great to have you here. I understand that you, or in more recent times, weren't able to watch the live for some reason and only ever get it later. So to see you on here, that's excellent. If you have a request for your mum, for her favourite hymn, go ahead and type it in and we might just catch that before the night is out. So, um, um, yeah. Happy Sabbath. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, I want to say um, Mary Rodriguez Baird. Mary Rodriguez Baird. Your request for your um, mum, in honour of your mum, who passed away last June at 99 and a half. Oh, amazing. What an innings. So sorry for your loss. I don't know that song and I doubt that mum or David do as well, but I had to listen to it and it was absolutely beautiful. It was a, it was a song called On Eagle's Wings, not Eagle's Wings that we've done on the sing-along, but another song called On Eagle's Wings. Really beautiful. Look it up and have a listen um, after the live for those of you who would like to check that out. Yeah, I didn't know it either, but it was really sweet. Hmm. What about... What about um, this one? Kim Moffat has requested in honour of her mum who, or his mum, I can't remember whether that was who Kim was. Mum died 16 years ago and mum's favourite hymn was Open My Eyes That I May See. our mum to the 38 model 85 85 there you go yeah <laughs> I don't feel 85 <laughs> and people are often surprised when I tell them I am but, um, it's good to feel as young as I do it's just that when I look in the mirror it doesn't <laughs> Reflect what I feel. Thirty-five. I we think took um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we time for we, time we, for bed. No, no, no. It and a <laughs> cup of wheat tea and <laughs> no, out. not here. Um, mm. we got we got a few more that came in prior to the live. These requests, we're going to make it. We are going to make yeah. it. No, she doesn't look eighty-five no, at all, no. does she? <laughs> She's a, a very lively, very sprightly eighty-five. We had her climbing a mountain. On Mother's Day just a couple of years ago. Mount Cordo. Yep. Got right up to the top. Yep, she did great. Overlooking the Fassifan Valley. One took us five hours when other people were doing it in one. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite that. No, no, no. She did awesome. <laughs> she just charges along. <laughs> okay. Um, softly and tenderly. Yeah, softly and tenderly. Loretta Carter, Walter Medford is requested this one.
It's not a bad place. We think we're having fun. Come home. That's where yeah. that's where the love is. Yeah, beautiful. Look, I remember as kids, um, just down over there, we'd be swimming in the dam. <laughs> and the, the signal to come home was the towel or the sheep? It was a bit hard. Towel. To, it was a towel. It was a towel. Hanging out the window. Yeah. Come and get the towel and into the bath and... And we wouldn't look up to the house. <laughs> keep swimming, keep, keep swimming. swimming. <laughs> so we get out on the car horn. I don't know why. We're all shivering and cold and <laughs> there was a hot bath and a hot meal. and Yeah, big point, Dave. We're a funny bunch. Mm. Come home. Yeah, wow. I used to say, when the sun goes down, my sons come up. Mm. <laughs> I don't want you out in the yard after dark. Snakes and who knows what. It always happens. I think we're going to get through these if we go for just, you know, um, we, Vlad, Vlad, yes. I've oh, got your request. Your mum, Marie, Marie, marching to Zion. If you're watching, Marie, this one's for you. you for that big stars donation um that's really humbling and and again thank you all for all of you who have given stars over the year well it's only been the last so many months that the stars thing is enabled that actually is is so many cents like a cent for a star that goes into a fund that i um have somewhere <laughs> that Braden and Levi can access for the Bible study ministry that they do on a Tuesday evening. Speaking of that, I just want to say at this point, um, Braden and his wife Elise have just started um, the series, the five week series now on Tuesday evenings at the same time. Um, because Braden and Levi are now working on some programming for Hope Channel. So they're a bit busy um, prepping for that. But God's Word in Song is a little five minute Tuesday evening scripture song that Braden and Elise, they're writing scripture songs and they'll be presenting them every Tuesday mm. evening and doing a little short devotional around those scripture songs. So tune in and, and be blessed by that. All righty. Um, do you know this one, Mum? So Shelley Easton, we're doing this one for your mum, Diane Jorgensen. This one's for you. Happy Mother's Day and happy Sabbath.
next month. Yeah, sorry, I miss, um, took that actually. That uh, one cent is one star, Tali, um, I think. One cent. Mm. I think that's how it works. Martha Marie Richards has chosen my favourite hymn. Oh, aren't yeah. you just happy then? That's, um, that's Herald's material, isn't it? Pass me, pass me not, the gentle saint. Yeah. And thanks, Martha. Do you have one that reminds you of your mother? <laughs> oh, they're all favourites, dear, <laughs> her mother used to say, <laughs> whenever we'd ask her for her favourite. That was Grandma Lucy Barrett, knee tardant. <laughs> grandchildren when we came to her funeral and I suggested that they might like to sing that they said oh that wasn't grandma's favorite <laughs> grandma's favorite was jewels you know um, when he came when he came when yes I remember yeah, that being yeah, yeah. yeah. they favorite. were all surprised because that was her favorite when they were little mm. yeah they remembered her for that and in yeah. the KFC oh shall you do it when he cometh when he cometh <laughs> that came in that we could potentially get through in the 10 minutes because we she just does a couple of verses and chorus of each this is excellent shall we do um Dani or Dani Brunette has requested just as I am Thank you. 
there's a couple of other tunes. To there that are, one. that's true. Tisha Burse, if you are watching, mm. your daughter Debbie has requested the piece. What a day that will be. Sing this one. Mm. What do you reckon? Ten. Anna Rodway, happy Mother's Day. Your daughter Marissa has um, requested this one for you when we all get to heaven. Six, three, three, I think. Always has been. Always will be. Here we go. <laughs> Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. in late earlier that I caught this and I can't remember the name of who typed this but they said can we please do we have this hope yeah, we do. for mm. Avis McCutcheon 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 we have this hope should we let's do this this is a mighty anthem yeah. the Adventist church yeah and you know there's two verses isn't there there is in my hymn book there's only one but in some of the other hymn books you have two verses so I'm going to try and pull up both Yeah, here's the two. 
Most of, most of the hymns that we sing in the Seventh Adventist Church were written before our time and yeah. were written by Christians of other denominations. And we are just, we're uh, custodians of those songs and they've blessed us. But this was written by an Adventist uh, songwriter and it's just become an anthem of our church. Mm. Looking forward to the soon coming of Jesus. Yeah, wow. We have this Surprised, so surprised <laughs> the other week when we had the family on for mum and dad's 60th wedding anniversary that dad sang that whole time, that couple of hours. He can't normally sing for worship, you know, he'll just read the hymn lyrics while mum plays. He's just lost his voice and he coughs mm. a lot. But he sat and sang like he didn't cough once and yeah, he sat being, right through. Being in the family gives you. Amazing, amazing. That was a little miracle that night. So look, I just want to share with you a couple of things before we pray, do a Bible promise and a close and sing one last song at the end. Um, I just want to let you know that next Friday evening, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be tied up in Sydney at a rehearsal for Sing Praise, which is happening the very next evening. So if you are in the Sydney or surrounding area, um, there's a number of us coming down. Ma'a, Tongi Pao, uh, Johanna McKay, myself, Phil Murray, coming down to Sydney to join others in that area um, for the Sing Praise event mm. at Warunga Church. You're coming. Hey. Uh, look, I might be in Sydney that weekend. That doesn't mean I'm coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe he's not coming. <laughs> so uh, if you're going to... <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be in that area, come along and um, after Sabbath, get online and get your tickets at singseries.com. Yeah, yeah. Singseries.com. Ben, um, Millis, Sonia, Kitevsky and others work really hard to put this amazing event together every year. They do Sing Noel well at the end of the year as well. But um, we're really looking forward to being there in Sydney with you. So Friday night, I will be busy. So it's been a bit of a fun Thing to try and work out who's going to do the sing-along while I'm tied up. Well, I think our plan is almost in place and we may need to start at an hour 
earlier at six. So I'll advertise well if we need to start at an hour earlier because it may be coming from Hawaii with Dana Petrie and others. And I know a lot of you have been really patiently waiting on Dana. So she may be in a position to deliver this Friday evening, which will be Thursday evening, her time late. So um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> If it's not Dana, we'll find out what's going to happen. Mm. Well, well, your <laughs> so, something I was just thinking of, um, mm. you know, there's been some, some great news this week. There's been a lot of news that isn't great. Mm. But um, if you're following the, um, the record online, you would have seen that um, there was, there was a, an article entitled, someone could post a link to this in the comments maybe so others can see if you haven't seen and the headline was Faithful Creative Digital Disciple Receives Award for Sharing Sabbath with the World. That's right. It's true. It's true. Yeah. And uh, you can read about that. Someone will put the link up there, which will be great. Yeah, look, we certainly um, certainly don't, don't do things for awards. Like no. our award is in heaven, yeah. isn't it? But um, what an honour that, that I took that call and found out that that was what was... Um, being given us here at the Sabbath sing along, and really, I would say, yeah, where's the trophy? Oh, I haven't got it yet because <laughs> I didn't go to Sydney to get it. <laughs> I was tied up at the Arise ten year anniversary um, here in Kingscliff, in well, it's in New South Wales, isn't it? It's over the border, but I was committed mm. there and didn't go to Sydney to that event. But I zoomed in and. Um, well, they actually gave me three awards that night, so that was a bit of a. That's, That's for bit, all of us because it's... A bit greedy. Because of the viewers, <laughs> Friday night by Friday night. Mm. And your faithfulness, Sandra, and your response to um, the simple promptings that God has given to you. Yeah, go online and find that article and, uh, and read it. Brenton Stacey has a wonderful... He's a, he's a true creative and mm. what he's done with a, few, a very few words encapsulates what Sandra is doing here every Friday night. Wow. Just wow. the simplicity of it. And um, how it's unpolished, it just has a power. It mm -hmm. reaches out, draws us in every Friday night. Mm. Mm. Amazing. But it's God's yeah. doing, really. It really is God's doing. Yeah. And it really wouldn't be um, happening without open homes and mm. willing participants um, who come on here and make it unique and, and different each week. I just... I want to thank all of the singers and all of the musicians and all the spouses and the children of those participants who oh, they're off to they're off again to go and make music mm. with Sandra. You know, when often a Friday night is is valuable family time for you all, and yet you faithfully just give up your time and come and yep. and help to to brighten up the lives of those that's who are it. tuning in. And yeah, that's how it started: an open mm. home and an old iPhone eight, something like that. Nothing flat. Yeah, just beautiful. So, yeah, so this Friday night, hopefully we'll be Dana. And if not, you know, we'll, we'll make sure something's happening. Um, then Saturday night live at Wurrunga. I don't think it's a lot of you are asking, is it being live streamed? I don't know that that's the case. I'm not sure that it'll be live streamed at all. But if not, if it is, I'm sure we'll be able to get word out. The following week, we will be starting a little earlier as well because um, Gary and Phoebe and I will join with Christian and Christy and Joe at The Incredible Journey. And it's Gary Kent's um, partnership weekend, The Incredible Journey Ministry. So we're going to be there doing the music at that event for that whole weekend. We will be doing the Sabbath sing-along live. With a live audience there, but we're going to be singing for you folk, of course. We'll be giving our attention to you. Um, so we may start a little early that evening, depending on the scheduling for that night. So we'll keep oh, you wow. posted during the evening, during mm. the weeks ahead. So, look, we might go ahead and um, wrap this evening up. Mum, it is an honour to do the sing-along with you this mm. evening on the Mother's Day weekend. My yeah, just thank you for faithfully um, having family worship in our home and providing music for us and giving us that um, love of music and setting such a beautiful example of what a godly mother um, looks like and how you have served us and loved our dad and 
served others and just such a blessing to well, have you're you. You're all easy to love. I think we were hard work when we were kids. <laughs> no, not, not when I look at other people's children. <laughs> I'd rather have my six, thanks. Oh dear, that's hilarious. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to pull up your own Bible promise then, are you, Dave? I just... Um... I couldn't remember where it was, Zechariah 4.10. But I think of family worship and, you know, it's there's no substitute for your individual devotions. But how do you model that to young children? How do they get to see? Well, they see you reading the word yourself and and to engage them around what what the Bible says and some of the simple songs and some of what we started off with, this old piano, um, which has been done up a couple of times since then, and some guitars, you know, the half size and three quarter size guitars, and they were just. China did not make good guitars back then, and anyway, that was the first that comes to my mind is uh, Zechariah four ten. Do not despise these small beginnings or these humble beginnings. Yeah. Wow. So whether you're building, a, rebuilding a temple, or just building the lives of little people, and. Uh, who have been placed into your charge, just don't despise those little beginnings. It might feel frail, but um, it'll pay enormous dividends later on, regardless of whether you're tired or... Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's a, a message for Sometimes all our periods of, of worship were about perseverance and... Yeah, but every night. Yeah, that's true. Well, we ate to be physically strong and we... Worship to be spiritually mm. strong. Mm. We couldn't afford a TV. We did didn't have a TV a couple of twice, times. Yeah, but twice. The effect that it had on certain members of the family, we got rid of it pretty fast. That was just mum and dad's own confession. <laughs> I have this TV back here that I keep forgetting how to use. <laughs> And I think Mum and Linda wanted to watch the King's Coronation the other week and I was like, well, let me work out how to turn the thing on first. <laughs> we leave instructions. <laughs> oh, dear. This has just been beautiful to spend the evening with you mm. all. And um, I would say let us pray together and then we'll have one last hymn, perhaps, even though we're over time. You've yeah, been a bit long-winded. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Would you like to pray for all the mothers out there, Mama? I would love to pray for you, of course, but I know yeah. that um, we have valued hearing our mother's voice in prayer growing up. Mm -hmm. And um, if you would like, be willing to pray for all of them, okay. that would be beautiful. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the privilege you have of giving us motherhood. Mm -hmm. It is a privilege, Lord one that we often don't realise. But, Lord, with the privilege comes responsibility. And, Lord, we have been entrusted with these little lives mm. that have grown up. Many are still mothering young children. Lord, it's not easy these days. It was bad enough long ago mm. that... It's getting harder and harder mm. to steer our children in the right direction. And, Lord, there are many temptations for the young folk these days that didn't exist when I was young. And, Lord, we thank you for the, this ability to have children. There are so many, Lord, who would long to have children and who have not. Mm. May, you, may you fill their empty arms when we get to heaven. There will wow. be babies there who mothers may not be. And I know that you will fully fulfil every woman's dream. Mm. Lord, we know that you had a mother. Mm. Yeah, yeah that you thought about when you were on the cross. You wow. gave her to your beloved disciple to look after. We know that you hear mother's prayers, even though it sometimes takes many, many years for them to be answered because the person that they're praying for has to have a say 
in whether they will be saved or whether they'll be lost. Mm. But Lord, may we never give up praying for our loved ones. We know that the time will come when what we have taught them as children, we've been promised in the Bible, train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old, he will not forget doesn't say what he'll do in the meantime, Lord, mm. and we thank you for this promise. We thank you for the many prayers that have been answered, the many stories that could be told of ones who've come back to the fold, come back to the Lord, who've mm. come back home. We thank you for the faithfulness of mothers who have prayed. Mm. And, Lord, we look forward to the day when we can meet you in person, where we can meet our guardian angel, where we can see our mothers again. Mm. And Lord, may that day come soon. Bless everyone who has been watching and listening tonight. May we all find the peace that you have on offer, that we might trust you with our lives that whatever may happen it is well with our soul yeah and this is my prayer in jesus name mm. amen. amen 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 oh thank you so much mom my pleasure oh i just want to share my mom with all of you yeah. i don't mind being shared no oh, <laughs> it's so beautiful so just to close with if, if either of you have a wonderful idea, that's that's grand. Otherwise, I did see one hymn request. Oh, well, whatever it is. Someone's suggesting Love at Home. Oh, yes. Let's have an instrumental to close out. Love at Home. living here in Ipswich over at Mosque. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Love at home. Thank you all so much for having us in your homes and thank you for joining us in ours. And David and Lisa, this is awesome. Thanks for just popping in at the right oh, time. Yes. <laughs> right before we hit that live button. <laughs> just minutes. Lovely before. surprise. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Also a surprise for us. <laughs> <laughs> have a happy Sabbath. And rem- remember, we may have to start early next week. So watch this space. <laughs> Blessings. Bye. Good night. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye.